So let's talk about Singe a little bit. Singe has been my favorite champion since late Season 4. I play him to Diamond in Season 5, and I'm one of the better known Singe players out there. Singe is a champion I love because he is a maverick. He's an oddball. No other champion does what he does. Perhaps the closest champion to Singe in terms of playstyle is Udia, and they're still very different. Singe is a tanky AP bruiser that can utilize a wealth of items, making him rather difficult to build. Despite being simple mechanically, Singe requires constant practice to master, as the strategic game we play with him has to be next level in order to make full use of his kit and the pressure it can create. Another part of that high skill cap is the aforementioned variety of items that you can build on him, making picking the right item for the right situation rather difficult. Back when I used to play Call of Duty, I used to love using guns that no one else did. Back in Modern Warfare 3, when the MP7 faggots were dropping Moabs left, right, and center, I was dropping Moabs with the Model 1887 and getting all my shotguns to gold. Back in Black Ops 2, I spent weeks getting diamond on all the shotguns and pistols, which wasn't easy to do. I mean, seriously, you try getting gold and on the fucking execution, you need like 50 headshots with that piece of shit. You know, fuck that. But the point is, <laughs> I love playing um, challenging uh, champions. I love using challenging weapons. I love challenging myself with oddball weapons and oddball, you know, characters in video games, which is why I love Singed. You know, he's wacky, he's ridiculous, he's unique, and, I mean, if you know how to play him, he's pretty damn effective. You know what they say, if it's stupid and it works, he ain't stupid. But anyways, let's talk about Singed. Singed was one of the game's original champions. When I started playing at the beginning of Season 3, he was rather strong, but yeah, not popular. Then the proxy Singe craze came about, and the Temple of Lord Druid Droid and his suicide Singe was open for business. Riot decided they didn't like that though, so they went all Samson on its ass and knocked down the pillars of that temple. The decreased gold value a champion now got from dying multiple times in a row, now interacted with gold gained from minions, effectively killing Suicide Singed. Singed stuck around though, and spent most of Season 4 in an underpowered state due to previous nerfs to his ult. Riot buffed him a little in Season 5, adding the W plus E combo, which is another difficult thing to master, and giving him MR per level. Finally, it seemed that Singe was getting somewhere. Now, with Season 6 and the change minion pathing, especially following into the jungle, Singe has been a bit of a rough spot again. The level 1 proxy that used to help mitigate his early game weaknesses is now much more difficult to perform, and the list of counters to him continues to grow. Singe is a champion that is so unique that he has never really required any substantial rework, and is still mostly the same as when he was released. This is pretty crazy considering how different the game was back when it first started. I mean, to still be relevant now means that he was an absolutely superbly designed champion, and he has a superbly designed kit that few other champions can really maintain. It does have one glaring flaw, however. A passive that doesn't play to the strength of his abilities and playstyle. Singe's passive is very basic. You get 0.25 HP for every point of mana you have. Great, so let's get a tier stacking and build 5 Rods of Ages, right? Well, no, wrong. The passive was basically designed with the idea that Singe will eat through a lot of mana due to his poison and high mana cost on his W and E, which, you know, they wanted to incentivize you building mana, so they gave you, like, okay, yeah, you get some health with it as well. But, as we've seen, experienced Singe players are more than capable of utilizing his base mana and still, uh, you know, shit stomp people with him. Since he's expected to uh, build mana, Singe actually has pretty damn good AP ratio, since he's not expected to build that much AP. He has a 90% AP ratio uh, on his Q, as it ticks a minimum of 3 times, and a 75% AP ratio on his E. So the logic is simple, you know, why come back to lane with a ruby and sapphire crystal to build into a catalyst and later a rod of ages, when you can come back into lane with two Doran's rings or two dark seals and get an early kill on your opponent and then just snowball the lane out of control. Sinuous passive into out of place as it does not play to the strengths of his kit or his item builds. I mean, look at Yasuo's passive, which does both. Look at Aatrox's passive, which reinforces his all-in playstyle, or Orianna's passive, which helps mitigate her weaknesses, which is downtime between abilities. On the occasion when a champion uh, does not have a passive that interacts directly with their kit or item builds, like Twisted Fate for instance, they still gain huge benefit from it in other ways. I mean, in TF's case, you can almost get a thousand gold from his passive per match. Singe in his current state with the current Vogue builds generally gets about 250 HP. That's it. Yeah, that's his passive. Riot has done an amazing job with Singed. 
You know, as annoying as you find him to play against, the fact that his kit has endured with only minor tweaks and changes over all the years is testament to how well he is designed. But, you know, with new seasons, you know, new items come, new mechanics uh, come, new champions come, and sometimes things need to be updated. You know, Singe's passive is one of the most glaring examples of this in the game, and apparently Riot has been planning to change it for a while now. Riot, as a Singe main, and I think I speak for most other Singe mains when I say this, it cannot come soon enough. Now you might ask, Chimso, how would you change Singe's passive? Well, I'm no champion designer, but I do know the champion. I know how he plays. One thing you need to do a lot of Singed is auto-attacking. Something that newer Singed players underutilize. Yes, Singed has an auto-attack, and those auto-attacks hurt. He has one of the highest base ADs in the game. I think a passive that provides additional damage on auto-attacks, or at least in some way incentivizes performing them, would be a great change. It will make his learning curve a little flatter since instead of reading his passive and thinking they need to stack mana, which is not effective at all, newer players will instead focus more on auto-attacking and learning associated synth tricks such as a sky auto-attack. So you know, there are my ideas. But anyways, there we have it. Singed. He runs around, shits poison. Flips people into suspicious piles of white substance and slows the fuck out of everyone with his Rylars and teamfights. Rework is passive and you'll have a complete kit, but the fact that his four main abilities are able to stand on their own is still a testament to the amazing design work that went into him.